sitting on Friday, the Lao Cultural Institution Council of Uitonga resolved to hold the enthronement of their newly elected paramount chief in November this year. A 15th sector committee was set to plan the enthronement. For the coronation of the new Wananyashi of Lango, chiefdom will be on the 2nd of November. We have come up with a roadmap of which we are praying to God to allow us successfully go through it. Government Chief Whip Denis Samson Abua was appointed to chair the National Organizing Committee, deputized by Maruzi County MP Maxwell Akora. So it's a very significant function that uh, for the first time in many years, in more than 20 years, Lango can come together and showcase to the rest of Uganda that we are also here and we are important. We have now today set uh, about 15 committees that should work with the chairpersons and the members and engage other stakeholders. <laughs> The Fofa Drum Trophy recently won by Lango was also handed over to the cultural leader during the council proceeding. The paramount chief elect called on the clan chiefs to embrace government programs and use them to fight poverty. The council session was, however, disrupted by heavy downpour. The cultural center designated for the cultural council meeting is in appalling state and requires reconstruction. In 2021, the then deputy speaker, late Jacob Olanya, presided over a groundbreaking ceremony to construct the Lao Cultural Palace. Since then, no structure has been erected on this land. So for us uh, now, this is what we have. We have been uh, chasing the issue of uh, the palace, which was launched about three years ago in uh, 2020. Up to now, nothing has happened. Yeah, we don't even have um, places of convenience. We don't have water. Uh, we don't have shelter. We don't have any decent facility here. The contractor is there. What was needed was the physical planning authority of Lira City to approve. And now that they are on the process and OPM has already paid them, it will happen. The contract which was awarded to CMD Investment Limited to start the construction of our palace had expired. But our Solicitor General has extended it for a period of three years. Leaders now want the construction process expedited before the extension expires for the second time. Edilua, UBC News.